Let's make some noise. No, not that noise, this noise. Perlin noise. What is Perlin noise? It's coherent noise. That means as you go from one part to the other, it changes smoothly, not completely randomly like this TV static junk. Perlin noise makes for good terrain, clouds, and a whole lot of other stuff. How's it made? Store the coordinate plane. At every point with integer coordinates, place a 2D unit vector with random direction. Now let's find the noise value at point X. We only care about the vectors surrounding it, so let's zoom in on just these four vectors, which we'll call V1, V2, V3, and V4. Next, we get the offset vector, which we calculate by subtracting these coordinate points from X. We'll call them O1, O2, O3, and O4. Next, get the dot product of O1 and V1, O2 and V2, and so on. We'll call these dot 1, dot 2, dot... You know what? You get the picture. To get our final noise value, we interpolate between dot products based on distance, sort of. That basically means our noise value is close to a given point's dot product when x is close to that point. So now we need an interpolation function. Here's a linear one. The value that determines how close it is is called the factor. In this case, distance, sort of, is the factor. Factors close to 0 are close to a, and factors close to 1 are close to b. Let's try it! This is bad! Our noise looks weird and choppy! We need an interpolation function that lands out at 0 and 1 to avoid abrupt changes. Fortunately, we have smooth step, a function that does just that. Let's use it. So what do we use as our factor? Let's define two quantities, delta x and delta y, which are just the fractional portions of the components of p. Now how the heck do we interpolate between four values? Simple. Let's interpolate dot 1 and dot 2 with delta x as our factor. Let's do the same with dot 3 and dot 4. Now let's take those two values and interpolate them with delta y. This might seem dirty and illegal, but it works, so too bad. Here's what we get. But that's not all you can do with noise. What if you want big noise? Just divide the position by your scale factor and you're set. What if you want noise for terrain, but you want big mountains and tiny jagged rocks, not lumpy boring hills, and your fractal noise? Let's literally just add a bunch of pearl noises together with different sizes and different amplitudes and you have fractal noise. So yeah, noise is awesome and super useful. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos and all the other annoying stuff YouTubers say. Wait, why am I saying that? I literally have only four- Thank you.